everybody. Iceman50 here. Um, so we're gonna work a little bit more on the uh, the hard drive clock here. Um, so uh, one thing I had a thought of is, you know, these wires are pretty big and whatnot. So I had the idea of, um, you know, I just harvested some magnet wire here, you can see. Um, it's got a couple of, it's got some some small coils out of a little uh, transformer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the uh, enamel coated wire and we'll use that um, on our uh, on our board instead of these these wires. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's pull this off and then you know we'll get started unspooling this and um, We'll, uh, we'll keep going, all right? So, of course, you need your uh, x-ray specs, x-ray goggles, <clears throat> at least I do. So, we kind of figured this out last time, um, where this was going to, let me see, can I, let me just see if I can zoom you in a little bit here. So, uh, last time we used these wires we tested this it does work this one this one that I'm desoldering right here is for the um, the light right that's what we tested so let's get that out of here and then <laughs> uh, let's see do I have my do I have where did I put my I don't think I need to desoldering braid um, anyways, so what we'll do here is we shall pull this apart. It's usually, you know, some kind of, this is like some kind of capped on tape or something. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, that, the, uh, DJI gimbal is talking to me. It's, I, that's why I was looking over here. It was... It popped up what I thought was a warning. It was just saying, having trouble focusing by hand or something. I don't know what it even said. Anyways, so yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna pull this off. Now there's there's two there's two sets of wires in here. The first one is attached over here. It's super teeny. Let's uh Let's just clip that. Right. I don't know if you can see this <clears throat> little. Yeah, you, know, you can see it. it's right, it's right here. It's like a little angel hair wire, <laughs> RCH, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, so we're gonna pull this off of here. Now you want to make sure that you don't damage the um, insulation because then if they if it touches something it won't be that's the whole thing with this kind of wire magnet wire all it is is a coating on the wire uh, see it and uh, so you know what we normally do is just take like a little knife or something and scrape this off and then you can solder to it so we just want to you know so with the coating on there um, it can be wrapped around itself obviously you can see and it doesn't make a connection it makes a coil so um, I think I mean, see these, the primary is the big wires. So there's two, there's two sets of primaries and uh, a secondary. So these wires are, are pretty big. I'd say these are, I don't know, 20 something gauge. And this, this little, this little guy over here is uh, like 30 something, you know, which is fine. Um, but I don't think we're going to end up using the, uh, the big ones. We're just going to end up using the small ones. But I got to, I got to get in here. Really the best tool is an X-Acto knife. It is. Got our X-Acto knife set. And then... This has got all sorts of little. Close it up. 
Remember I said in my last uh, video, everybody, don't drop an X-Acto knife on your junk. <laughs> uh, I'll try not to do that this time. So, it didn't get me. Anyways, we're gonna very gently kind of come in here. Can you see me? Yeah, you can see me. It's like brain surgery, everybody. So what I'll do is I'll just speed the video up so you guys don't have to watch me rip this all apart. I don't have anything funny to say right now. Uh, <laughs> so I'm sure I'll skip this part. plenty of usable uh, coil on here so you can see that uh, there we go so this is the the bigger gauge wire so you can see there's a lot of there's a lot of this uh, wire wrapped around here obviously see how much stuff there is so there's plenty of usable section of uh wow there we go see now you can see it's off the bobbin oh and it's all uh it's all here this this works good stuff you should uh if you do something like this just save it i usually just take it and loop it around my fingers thusly and we shall save it although I do kind of like the uh, the red and the green on here and this other stuff is pretty thin maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll do it with this why not so uh, we still got our secondary here and we'll we'll save that we'll throw it in the Box of parts here somewhere. All right, so let's uh, <laughs> I wrapped it up. Let's unwrap it. Okay, so we'll go. Uh, maybe we'll do a red and a green. All right, so we'll just cut these to the close, close to the same length. Right. Let's uh, let's zoom back out for you here. Okay, all right, so, got some wire, we're gonna unspool it, right, I just rolled it up, okay, we'll set that aside temporarily, you can see we got our X-Acto knife here, now you can see that, um, <laughs> zoom back in again, see this but uh, there's already some there's already some solder on here but basically what you would do is you would just we can I'll show you on the other end see you got it here and you just kind of scrape around you can see it's like a red coating right uh, and then I'll So now you can see that it's red and now it's copper colored. So we can solder to that. So that's what you do. So the rest of this is protected. It can touch itself. But if, you know, this part touches anything else, it'll short out. But so what we'll do is we'll just, you know, 
trim these and then we'll go from where we want to go on here on the circuit board All right. and we'll just come out of there and we'll figure out a place for them okay so try to we'll zoom in That's all I can go. Okay. So we're gonna trim these down. Another thing you can do, which I've seen people do, is um, you know you can take your take your solder here, and uh, you just uh, kind of pull it up on the end here and it'll melt away some of the coating. So you just kind of let it be molten and it will uh, it'll eat that that coating off of there. Ooh, and it stinks too. It always does stink. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here where we had our connections. And we're gonna solder this. Come on. Yeah, and don't forget, guys, the uh, the wires will get a little warm. Obviously, you're soldering, so be aware of that. And then, <laughs> okay. And another thing, why I realized before is we got to keep these little. There's these little holes. Um, we're gonna keep these little holes clean so that they can fit back into the uh, the frame of the of the whole watch or whatever. So what we're gonna do is very gently um, up something like this, and then <laughs> we're going to. Uh, I think I'm just gonna twist the wires together. Okay. All right. So we're just gonna do this. All right. Very exciting. So if we're, if we're here, if we're here, then we're gonna think about how we want to push these through. Oh, I think I found another hole, my brother. Oh no! So there should be, and there is. There's a, there's a hole here that was covered up by a sticker on the back side. Okay, you see that kind of, I went through there, right there. So, we put our spacer on and our platter. And then be somewhere over here, like this, right? And then we're gonna come here. I think we'll just sneak these wires through here. through and then like I said before we'll come up and I'll uh, we'll see if we can 
else. So, ah, these. You can make it. You can make it from the inside to the outside here. So, uh, let's try to very carefully sneak this through. Nicely. So, I just kind of came from this hole up here through here, and then I've got a spot now where we can mount to some screws. Uh, hang on, I'll be right back, and then see if I can find some of these little tack switches, and then we'll come right back. Hey, everybody. We're back. Uh, don't forget your, your beer. Ooh. Um... So, went out to the storage space. Um, I'm gonna include a little bit of that video for you guys. I gotta make a run to my storage space. Uh, I tried to clean up and, uh, oh look, RIP old computer. Saving this for parts. Most likely just the power supply. But uh, we're gonna take a trip across town and uh, go get some parts that I'm looking for. Like I said, I cleaned up and uh, I took some stuff to my storage space. So, you know, kind of one of the sucky things about living in an apartment, right? I have run out of gas in this thing before. So the, the needle isn't at the, the needle isn't at the level that uh, it's at when it's empty. So. Ah, we got somebody in front of us at uh, driving school. Hopefully we uh, we don't scare them. They're sitting an awful long time at that light, at that stop sign. And, all right, let's go in here. We're gonna make it. Oh, look what we got up here, everybody. A 5.0 drop top. Everybody, we're back. Uh, don't forget your your beer. Ooh. Um. So, went out to the storage space. Um, I'm gonna include a little bit of that video for you guys. Um, these are the switches that I was looking for. They're these little tiny tack switches. Let me see how tiny they are. They're surface mounts, so they got you know two pins, and uh, they're they're nice little switches. I use them I used them on some stuff that I designed a long time ago, and they're handy. So, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna take <clears throat> and put you know one button here, button here, and the same thing over there. So I got my my hot glue gun. Ouch. This right here, my Ryobi hot glue gun. There you can see the Ryobi. All right, let's get us some more light here. Okay. Hopefully my battery's charged. I'll let that warm up, <clears throat> and we will take a look at what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, so I don't really need the, uh, let's see here. Hi. Hang on, guys. All right, everybody. <clears throat> Looks like our uh, glue gun is ready. 
So we're gonna very carefully take a dab of this hot glue. switch on here. Okay. There's one. are solidifying on here pretty quick everybody it's pretty crazy all right flip over my switches so I can grab them need a wee bit. Whoa, that's not a wee bit. somewhere where it won't drip all over the place. Okay, now I got hot glue strings over everything. It's okay. Junior out. Let's close this thing. Okay. Let's uh, tighten this down here. Like thusly. And we're going to cut one of these. That fits. And then we're going to cut the other one. That fits. And then the green. That was the red piece. Okay. Pull it off. And then we're going to take our X Acto knife here and we're just going to. iron again since we left and we're gonna put a little bit of we're gonna put a little bit of solder on the switch and the wire so let's get over here we'll put a little bit of blob on the switch okay, put some on the wire 
Okay. Now we're gonna take our tweezers. Get this extra solder out of the way. And we're gonna come in here. And might be in the way for a second here. Okay. Closer. And we're gonna turn this. <laughs> I guess we don't. All right, so let's, uh, it came right off. Let's scrape this one down. bit of solder to the other side of the switch here and the wire. All right. So there's one side. Let's go back and get the uh, side of the switch here. think we got it. So you can see that I have soldered the little connections onto my switch here. You hear that? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest and uh, we'll come back. All right, everybody. We'll see you in a minute. 